Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. So in today's episode the plan is bodywork. So we want to replace both doors and the front wing all of which are damaged on the vehicle. And the new doors that we've got they are second hand doors and the reason, um, the reason why we've got these doors is because they are in colour. Um, so let's uh, get on and do that. Um, the second door, the back door, is completely naked, the new one, so we have to strip all the rubbers off, etc. So we will be seeing that, proce that procedure. Let's go and then um, see how we get on with that. And at the end, I need to inform you about some airbag issues that I've been having, etc., and, and how we've got, come to resolve that. So let's crack on with today's video. All right, so today we're tackling the doors. So both doors we're gonna take off and the front wing. So by the end of this episode, we should have that side of the car all looking good. And um, yeah, that should be, that's the goal. Now, the back door, we got to completely strip because the new back door is, um, is, is stripped. Um, then we'll probably get some better idea of the line back here because this line is definitely out. As you can see, because the door goes in and the pillar goes in with it. And then this door here, you can see that gap. That should all line up nicely when we get the new door in. And then we should be able to take this off as well, the mirror, and transport it over to the new door. So lots to do. Um, we're going to liven up the car because the moment the car is dead. So I'm hoping that the ignition will, or should come to life. We'll need to get the um, bottom part of the ignition, which is in the back, back there somewhere. Someone did say the other day on the one of the posts that I should be organizing this, but actually it's like a Meccano set. All the bits just fit where they should go. And it usually, it, well, it always works out well. Right, so let's, um, let's get started. I think the first thing we're going to do is we need to lower the glass, in fact, we know fact mm, yeah we'll, we'll lower the glass we'll get the new door out and then we'll start prefer preparing the um the door cards by taking the old one off yeah that's what we'll do and then after that what we'll do we'll come in here and then we'll take off the clip which looks very interesting because that's proper damage that one but it still works and fortunately we can get to it from the inside as well so we're all good from that point of view all right let's uh let's crack on all right so car's alive which is good and i've managed to drop the windows as you can see that's working and if we go to the back they're working as well which is good drop them down and let's do the front as well that's exactly how we need it to take the door off. Right, let me go and get some tools and we'll start taking things apart. Oh, by the way, the car's telling me that um, I need to call the uh, workshop because it can't detect a battery. Which is interesting. Can't think why. Would it start? Oh, nope. At least that button works. Could turn the car off. Yeah, all sorts of errors there. But that's to be expected. Anyway, let's get on with what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so these are the tools we're going to use to take off the door card. Uh, we've got these special sockets for these. I can't remember what they're called, but we got them. And these are the official door card removal tools from VW. Now, I'm just trying to think whether it'd be better to actually have the door cards up, the, the window up, or whether to have it down. I think actually to have it up, because when we take the card away, um, it means that we can unclip the mirror, the window, and then drop it down. So I think what I might do is just turn the car on and then get that back up. Yeah, let's do that. Might be easier. Right. Windows are up. Time to take the card off. And you know what that means. Yep. It's time. It's time. Huh. 
Right, change of plan. We'll come to the doors in a second. It'd probably be better for me to take off the front wing first. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take off the front wing. Then we're probably gonna go for the front door. Then we're gonna go for the back door after, okay? So that's a plan. Or maybe we do the back door first. Anyway, let's go for the wing. Right, so that's the wing off. Now we're back to the door. We're gonna work on the front door because we can get this one in pretty quickly. So the first thing we need to do is underneath here, we've got a screw and two screws underneath here. So we need to remove this cap, which I've done. You remove that. This thing comes off here. Basically, I level that off with one of these tools. This is quite tight, it's holding by these and it will feel like you're breaking it, but as you can see, no tabs are broken, so it does come off pretty, pretty easy. And then you've got your two screws, so one screw there, one screw there. Once you remove those three screws, you then just level around uh, using this big guy, and then that will take off the tabs. So let's do that. We can then drop the mirror and get the other door. Now the beauty is, I believe, the other door has got the window in it. At least, that's what I hope. But we'll find out when we put it on. Let's give it a try. Right, so we can take a closer look at the door now. So this here is the door control model. This basically controls all the electric windows. Okay, so that's very important. There's one on this side and there's another one on the other side. The other one on the other side will be a slave unit, okay? Here, this is the crash sensor. So that's what's triggered the airbags at the side. Um, yeah, and then obviously you've got your electric motor here as well, but this is the this we would have had to replace. Now the new door has got one in situ, but we'll need to test it to see if it's working. And the only way we can do that is to run a diagnostic tool. But the good thing is the new window has got all of this, or the new door has got all of this in place with the exception of this. So we'll need to take this off and we have to be careful taking these off because they have a tendency, the tabs at the back have a tendency of breaking off. So we'll do that very carefully. Okay, so we're gonna take all of this off as one unit. But before we do that, a few things we have to do. So we have to undo the door hold. We'll take that off. And then we'll undo these two bolts here, which hold the door into, into place. So let's do those. That's one. And that is two. So the door now is ready to lift off and we've also um, loosened up the, oh actually we've got to remove the mirror as well but we can do that at a later date so that's what that is, that's the electric mirror and all the, the controls. We've got three bolts underneath here 
that we have to unlease and then we can remove that. Right, let's get this door off. So, with the, uh, the door off, we just want to remove these hinges. So that one I loosened up already. This one down here is still going to be tight. So yeah, let's give that. Oops. Let's put the camera down. Okay, so here's your hinges. So we now just need to um, put them on the new door. Let's go and get the new door. Right, so we've got the new door back in here now. Or the replacement door, I should say. And what we've done, we've put the bolts back in and we've tried to match them now. I think that one down the bottom there is not looking quite right. But what we'll do, we'll do a test fit and see how we get on. And um, and then adjust it once it's in place. Okay, now that door's gone in quite well. And the easiest way I've always found to line doors up is to literally just put them in place so that they are in place, sit through, then bolt them, then tighten them up. And when you do that, you tend to find that the alignment is perfect. So now the door is shutting just fine. So that's, that's gone in very well. So very pleased with that. So let's now just wire it up and see if it works. Right, moment of truth, we've powered the car back up, we've plugged all of that in. Now we've just got to see if the window actually goes up. So we're, let's have a look. Ah oh, yes, perfect. Yeah, that seems to be working. Just got to, uh, Sort out the trim there a little bit because this is out of place and I don't want the window to fail but other than that it actually is working just fine which is great here we go Let's get him out yeah perfect right I'll get this window right to the top perfect that is brilliant. All right, so we just got to transfer the speaker over. And, uh, but other than that, we are good. And this one, obviously, we need to test that still. I need to get that back in place. But other than that, very happy with that. Right, so we are just literally just stripping down the door at the moment. There is no real method. I am just literally making this up as I go along. So I am taking bits off and hoping that it's gonna go back onto the old door. You can see that there's something in there that needs to come out. There's a screw in there that releases this window here, but most of the other stuff has just literally just come off and there's a bead that we're currently undoing down there. It goes all the way around and then we should be able to just lift this door out. Let me carry on.
Okay, so there was a window wasn't coming out, but there's a little stop. You can just see it there. Just managed to get him out. I didn't want to force this because otherwise it would have shattered. But I think we now we've got it now. Should just come out. Famous last words. Still something pulling them in. Let us see. What do you think that could be? Let's try it from this angle. It's definitely loose. It just needs. Oh, I can see him. There we go. There we are. And he's out. Ooh. That was a palaver. We've got these little strips here. We'll see if we can salvage these and they go in that strip down there and they go all the way along. But pretty much we've stripped the door like the new one is. So we can take this one off and get the new one in place and do the same as what we did one now. I won't show it on camera. But um because it's just a repeat of that one but you'll see it in situ two hours later okay so the door is back on and now we're fighting against the clock but it shuts it does need a little bit of adjustment so it's a little bit deeper here than it should do um, but we can do that that's easy it fits fine down the bottom here and uh, needs a little bit of adjustment when this door shuts as well but they do line up this door is slightly out here and it's slightly down here but we can adjust the hinges to to sort that out but other than that it's a great fit it really is right let's get the rubber in and the door in because it's going to be raining tomorrow so we need to get this car waterproof and we can't hang around so let's get that done Right, okay, looks like we've got the door done just in time. It's not finished. We've still got to put the trim on. You can see this is sticking out, but it's, it's just started to rain. And I wanted to get this done before the rain came as it is. So we'll come back as soon as the rain stops. But in the meantime, the car is watertight. The following day. Okay, it's the next day. The rain has stopped and we've got blue skies at the moment. So we're gonna crack on and finish this door off right so we've got all the trimming um, on the outside we've got the trimming place as well uh, what I've got to do is got to borrow one of these little blue bits here to fit into here so we can fasten that on to there like that and then we can run the strip down there we can probably sacrifice one or two of these just to make sure so the door locks in and we've also got the exterior door as you saw earlier on now we've got to fit the window regulator now in the new VW's particularly this one here the regulator is on one unit like that and it's much easier to uh, put together although it does look kind of basic but it has a little rubber seal and what you have here is you have a little hole here same hole in the window and then you have these two little plastic bits so basically this bit here goes through like that and then it actually wedges into the window there okay so that wedges into the window and then what you then do is you use this to go through the middle and that pushes out and makes sure that it's stuck and it doesn't come out here so it can move in here but it's stuck in there and that makes sure that the window stays in place now to get that all sorted 
we have to do all of that through this hole here see it so all of this has to happen through that hole there so I will get this camera on the tripod and we'll get this done and sorted and then we'll give it a, a quick test to make sure that it works Okay, let's uh, give the rear a test. We've got the ignition on, so we just need to plug it in. We put the, uh, where we are, there we go. Put the camera down a bit. All right, let's just test this now. So down. Oh, nothing. Okay, let's test it from the front. Actually, I'm just thinking maybe it might be the child locks on. Yep, that's where it is, child lock. Turn that off. Let's just try it from the front. See if it works. Nope. Ah. Have another bash of that. Nope, definitely not working. I think the ignition's on, let me just check. Actually, let's test the front, shall we? Try it again. Nope. Nope. It's not working. We we'll want to see what's going on there. All right. I think we found a problem. The uh, battery is proper, proper. I mean, I'm talking deader than a dead thing. Let me show you. Plug that in. See that? Not even eight volts. In fact, I'd be surprised if this battery. Let's see if we can get this battery recovered. But that's the reason why the windows don't work. So well, that's good news. So probably the windows do work, but we need to get that battery charged. So let's go and do that, and we're going to the last bit, which is that front wing. Get a new front wing fitted. Okay. So the easiest thing that we're going to be doing today, and the last thing. Fit in the front wing. Now this should be relatively easy, but I've probably jinxed it now. So let's see how we get on. But it should just be a case of putting straight on with no complications. And there we go, all done. And it's come up pretty good if I don't say so myself. So we still got to do some gaps. So this gap here obviously needs to be done, but just for a first fit, it's kind of come up well. You can see there, that gap there. And there's that gap there, I haven't touched that. That's just basically, you know, how it's come. So we need to do the gaps but in terms of the lines everything is where it should be we've got the door mirror on and of course most importantly the door shut just fine this here still needs a little bit of adjustment um, but then again still does that so we expect some minor fitting issues and of course you can see the gap where the door is and where this should be 
but having the door now gives me a good idea of where things should be so that's um that's good but in terms of the actual installation it's gone pretty well and i'm pretty pleased pleased with it good so looks much better doesn't it it's beginning to take shape and uh that's great to see the progress we're making there okay so um so last week i was sending off my airbags including the dashboard to a company dubious company up north and i was communicating via um whatsapp now i'm quite dubious about companies like this especially when they advertise on ebay and then say they don't want to do a trade through ebay there's your warning sign hey eh? anyway Dialogue has been going back and forth, got the price down to about £400. This is to repair the dashboard and also to repair the curtain airbags. And uh, long story short, I decided not to go for obvious reasons because it just was getting more and more shady. Um, and I also managed to get a dashboard, a second hand dashboard anyway from eBay uh, within the same price that they were going to charge to do the dashboard. So that's sold. And um, just talking to a few other companies, um, it was just clear that that wasn't going to get, that was not the way to go. So my advice to you, if it sounds too good, it's obvious too good, but I wanted to play along just to see what was happening. Fortunately, reputable companies out there, such as the airbag team, and this is not a sponsored link, Carl from the airbag team, I reached out to him and he's sorted my, um, seatbelt going to refurb one of the seatbelts in the cars because everything else I've actually got new for a real bargain price hence the reason why it made sense to to go new so we got those airbags all the airbags that is included the curtain airbags for bargain price and the one airbag that um, or the one um, seatbelt that I couldn't get which was too expensive I got the airbag team to sort that out so uh, shout out to the airbag team for that I know that we'll be using their services. Ah, it's not the first time I've used their services before. They just, just haven't known it's me, being me. Okay, great. Um, so next week we're gonna be concentrating, actually the week after next, we'll be concentrating on the front of the car. Next week I am away, so you'll be getting a different video from the standard ID3 context. You'll be seeing, hopefully, a video on about the, um, the Bourne, which is the Basically, it's the same as the ID3, but I've got the opportunity to drive, uh, drive a Cooper Bourne and also the uh, 20th anniversary Golf R. So you'll see that next week um, because I am away. And then for the following week, we'll be working on the front. I'm still waiting for a couple of bits to come. So hopefully by then, everything will be here that we can just crack on with that. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe down here. Click on the bell notification button. Um, so you'll be notified of any new videos and we we'll look forward to seeing you very soon on the next one. Have a good week.